Okay, we have washed all of our tools and the contact board. We're now ready to assemble the bottom cap. The first thing we want to do is take some rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, a rag or a lintless paper cloth, anything of that sort will do. And we want to clean the bottom of the printed circuit board, let it dry, and clean the inside, that's the side with the threads, clean the inside surface of the bottom cap. From this point forward, we'll try to not touch those surfaces in order to avoid transferring the oil from our hands to the surfaces. The next step is to take the 1 16th inch Allen wrench and the three 632 by one half set screws and assemble them. You assemble from the outside of the bottom cap. What you want to do, excuse me, got out of frame there for a little bit. What you want to do is you want to screw these in until the set screw just is level with the surf the inner surface, and then make three additional turns. Okay, we'll repeat that with the other two set screws. I have to take it out of frame here just for a second to get a good view of it coming to the surface, the inner surface of the bottom cap. And then three additional turns. couple of things to mention while we're doing this. I think it goes without saying that we have allowed the printed circuit board to dry after we washed it, that we rinsed it in order after we washed it with dish soap or dial hand soap or whatever you want to use that you rinse it thoroughly so that any soap residue is removed. Uh, one other comment that probably would have been better placed at the beginning of the tape and that is that these parts have not been washed as before they have been sent to you. So they may have machining oil on them. 
so the uh, aluminum parts especially should be washed in warm soapy water rinsed thoroughly before you start the construction process we're now going to introduce a tool that I didn't mention earlier but since we're all machinists or at least I assume since we're buying an econoprobe that we are a machinist we should have a caliper we use this at this point to set the height of the set screws and what I'm doing now is measuring over the tip of the set screw to the bottom outside surface of the bottom cap and I want this to be about a half an inch total um, thousandth or so one way or the other is fine this is 498.5 Grab our Allen wrench, just give it ever so much, so little tweak. Ah, we're st still reading about 498. Yeah, <clears throat> just a little bit of trial and error. Okay, well, we went to 501, went a little bit too far, but that's okay. Four ninety six. was being a little bit ornery. Yeah, there we go. 498. That's close enough. 505. That one's a little bit too far through. So we'll back it off just a little bit. Okay, we've got them all there within a couple of thousand. So we're ready for the next step. <clears throat> 